Hi everyone, welcome back to another Retro Cooking Wednesday. Today we are doing Apple Pie 63. Even though this is the Pillsbury Bake Off from 1962, this is recipe contest number 14, Miss Julia Schmogger, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, won this contest with her great apple pie squares. She thought they were different because they could feed a crowd. They had a nice cream cheese topping on the top of them and a little bit of caramel sauce. So I'm excited to make these. I want to point out about this Bake Off is it seems to be getting bigger now. This is our 14th Bake Off and now they're introducing um, official Bake Off ingredients. So it's not about the flour anymore. It's about convenience. So you'll see like Nestle's chips and other things popping in that want to be sponsored by this. And Miss Smogger, however I'm pronouncing her name, I hope it's correct. Actually, um, Mommy Eisenhower and Miss Philip Pillsbury gave her her check when she won the $25,000. So now more um, people are getting involved and ingredients want to be involved. So yes, it is becoming more and more noticeable to be in the Pillsbury Bake Off. And if you're new here, thank you so much for popping in. If you would, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you've been here a while, thank you guys so much for supporting me. And with that being said, let's get to that ingredient table. Ingredients for our crust for our apple pie 63 is going to be two and a half cups of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt. We need a half a cup of butter. And then we need a quarter cup of oil and a quarter cup of water. I just have them in the same cup there. And you can see how they are separated. And one egg slightly beaten. We're going to pastry fork this stuff together and then mix in our water, egg, and oil once we get this into a um, crumbly mixture. And we don't have to roll it out. Bonus! Okay, so for the apple pie filling, we need like six cups of peeled and sliced apples. I have seven pink ladies here. You could probably use whatever kind of apple you really like. If you want to use Granny Smith's, go ahead. One cup of granulated sugar, a third cup of flour, and then we also need like one to two teaspoons of lemon peel, zested lemon, um, and also two tablespoons of lemon juice. So I have a fresh lemon for that. And this will all be combined. Okay, so in here I've got my two and a half cups of flour. We're going to add our one and a half teaspoons of salt. And our quarter cup of sugar. And we're going to add our half a cup of butter. I kind of just cubed it up a little bit and we are just going to use a pastry blender to cut that all up let's get it cut up all right so we've got our base crust mixture mixed until it looked like you know coarse crumbs so then we're going to add our quarter cup of water and our quarter cup of oil our one beaten egg and then we are going to mix this well and pat it into our pan all right so we're going to press our dough we don't have to roll it into like a 15 by 10 by one inch pan i do have a little bit of parchment paper here it said ungreased i still like my parchment paper we're just going to press this all down in here and get it ready for our filling all right, and here we've got our six cups of apples that's been sliced and cut up. We are going to add our one cup of sugar, a third of a cup of flour, and we are also going to add 
two teaspoons of zest and two tablespoons of lemon juice. I just used a little zester to zest the lemon off. We're going to add this also to that just so that it doesn't turn our apples brown. And we'll get this mixed up and place it into our shell. Shell is all nicely pressed in. Let's dump these apples on it. So we need to put a topping on this. We need to do a third of a cup of sugar, a third of a cup of nuts chopped, one egg, and one eight ounce cream cheese. Let's get that mixed. All right, so we're just supposed to blend this until it's smooth. I just have out my little mixer here. And we don't add the nuts to this. We are just going to blend this until it's smooth. Get our egg in got there. Our egg in there. And we're just going to blend all this cream cheese, sugar, and the egg until it is smooth. So, for our caramel sauce, we need 28 caramels, a half a cup of half and half, or you can use evaporated milk. We're just going to put this into a pan and heat that up. Our caramels and, well, I used half and half, are all melted. Let's drizzle this onto our apples. All right, I'm just going to use a little bit of the spoon and just kind of take this hot caramel sauce and drizzle it all over our apples. Yum. Get that all drizzled on there. So on top of our caramel apples, we are now going to put the cream cheese mixture and we are going to spread this all over. So let's get this all spread it on. Okay, our cream cheese mixture is all spread on. We are then going to put our nuts all over this and then we are going to put this into a preheated 375 degree oven for 35 to 45 minutes. Let's get this beautiful masterpiece in to the oven. So my thoughts on these apple pie squares, I really liked them. I liked you didn't have to roll the dough out. That's number one. That was really great. And it, you could feed a large group of people with these. While it was a few steps, they were not like horrible steps to do. Um, so they would be great for picnics. You got, you know, a luncheon that you need to do or something like that. You're feeding a crowd. They are definitely good for that. Um, there are some things that you could probably do, I don't know, to make them a little bit easier. I don't know if I would use apple pie filling because I think that that's too sweet. I like that these weren't like overly sweet. Um, you could probably use, instead of making caramels, you could probably just buy like caramel sauce, you know, that ice cream topping and use that. That would cut out one step. Um, but I, I, you know, they were really good. They were really good. I liked that you could feed a crowd with them. So with that being said, this is Lynn from Halen Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, you guys. Thank you so much for helping my channel grow. And I think we're doing a casserole next week. I'm not really 100% positive. I did not look, but I want to say, I know we have a casserole coming up. So I'm going to say that it's next week. We're going to do that casserole. And we're going to probably, it's going to start getting more and more convenience foods like they said on this one. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye everyone. Stay retro. See you soon.